it has come to my attention that you're looking for a phone that's less than 20k, less than 15k, well, we've got it all for you. It's that time of the year again where we rank all the phones. Siyempre, tapos na tayo sa less than 10k. Dito naman tayo sa 20, 15k tier. Dito ako na-excite kasi ito yung pinakompetitive na price range sa lahat. Less than 15k, less than 20k. There has never been a more exciting time here in Unbox Diaries than today. At ayun na po, nakalign up na po sila lahat. 40 phones. And I got here. Ito na po yun, yun sa gitna. Nasa unboxdiaries.com po yan. When you open that, bam! Yan po yan. Oh, wait. Wait. Tsaka na yan. Luma na kasi yun guys. No? Ngayon yung bagong tier list. Kasi may mga bagong lumabas. So nangyari, marami tayong babaguhin. No? Yung iba, kung nasa taas siya dati, nasa tier list ng super sulit, bababa yung iba. Yung iba naman, tataas. Mga ganun, vice versa. Nakaka-excite to kasi yung iba talagang hindi ko maisip kung bakit nandun sila sa taas ulit. And of course, yung iba, bakit nasa ilalim? Parang feeling ko, they deserve better. But here it is, without further ado, the best of the best of under 20k and 15k. But it's Bins and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo! Okay, so, malabo kasi mata ko. My trusty laptop, Apple, won't sell for less. Apple then. This video is sponsored by... Let's joke lang. Si Apple ang nag-rank ng mga China phones. Alright, alright, here we go. Unang-una sa list ay Redmi Note 11 Pro. Saan to? Sakto lang muna. Tinatay kong bakit. Si Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G is... Hmm. Hmm, nice specs. Ay, Snapdragon. 695. And... Super AMOLED siya. Okay. 120, 5,000 mAh, 67 watts, fast charging. And it's 15,999 pesos. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, wait lang. Ilalagay ko muna siya sa super sulit. Siguro para mas nagme-make sense yung ranking if we put here the best. Para sa akin nun. The best phone. Ano po na kasi yung the best for 2022. Which is si Poco X4. GT, that's right. Let's start with this, baby. Kasi, kapag nakita mo to, kung ano nakikita mo sa Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G, you'll be surprised at how good this is. Okay. Na para sa the best gaming phone right now in 2022 is the Xiaomi 12T. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi meron siya yung Dimensity 8100 processor. Dahil lang dun. That is the best processor in any gaming phone. Super fast, hindi uminit, optimized sa lahat ng games. Kaya lang, kung hindi afford si 12T, of course, we have here the Poco X4 GT. Kaya lang, hindi siya AMOLED katulad ni 12T. Kaya, you know, that's my pick and not this one. But this does have 8 up to 256 gigs of internal storage. Less than 20K. Meron pa siyang 144 hertz refresh rate siya lang ang meron ganyan sa lista na to. Malaking battery, 50, 80. Mabilis na charging, 67 watts. This is the golden standard of smartphones for this price range. And para sa akin, it is the top of this list. Ito na yung reference natin, no? Si Poco X4 GT. And with that, looking at the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G na merong Snapdragon 695 5G. <laughs> Nagmukha siyang mahina. Para sa akin, maganda na lang siya. Ganun katindi dito sa price range na to. Next up is the Realme 9i. Ito. From the number one brand. The number one. Kailan tanong, is this also number one? Realme 9i. Realme 9i. Ay! And then, hindi yung pangalan niya. Yung kanyang processor ay Snapdragon 684G. Hindi ko matake na meron 4G processor. Salagang more than 10K. Parang cringe siya agad ah. But it does have 90Hz refresh rate. Fast charging, 33 watts, And 5,000mAh of battery. For 12K! Para sa akin... This one, dito man siya sa sakto na. Wala pa kasi tayo masyadong uh, reference for this. Kuha tayo na something na feeling ko, ito yung mukha ng mga sakto na cellphone. Ito na yun na. Ito na yung feeling ko. Narzo 50 5G. Alam niyo kung bakit? Ayan po. Dimensity 810. 5G na. 6 gigs of RAM. 1 to 8. 90 hertz refresh rate then. So pretty much the same as the Realme 9. Ay! Pero 5G na siya. And it's, uh, what is this? 12,999? Oh, di ba? Narzo 55G for me. Ito ang sakto lang. At dahil dyan, si Realme 9i ay magiging needs improvement na lang dahil po sa existence ni Narzo 55G. Oh well. Wait lang, wait lang. 
Beans, gusto ko makita si Infinix. Excited na ako. Yun lang pakialam ko dito eh. Infinix. Ito na ba yung Infinix at tier na to? Parang konti lang nila. Ah, puro sila less than 10k. Oh, kaya pala. Infinix Zero 5G. Ayun. Si Zero 5G. Okay. Ito yung 2022 guys. Hindi siya yung recently na nandibu ko. Si 2023. This one was released early March 2022. And nasa super sulit tier list po namin siya. Kaya lang, may bago po tayo ditong 2023. Okay? Sige. Check na natin. Okay, so gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo kung ano yung ng 05G 2022 versus the 2023 version which is si 2022, yung early, ay naka-dimensity 905G. As you can see, pretty much the same yung kanyang specs with the 2023. Ayan po, 5,000 mAh, 32 watts fast charging, 1080p display, 120Hz. Pero, nagkaiba is yung kanyang itsura, mas flagship na. And syempre yung kanyang processor na si Dimensity 1085G although maliit yung kanyang difference in terms of performance. Kaya syempre parang baka hindi yung dahilan kung bakit ko siya isa super sulit. Ito ang dahilan talaga. Yung storage guys. Double the storage. Same price ng 2022. And of course siguro yung itsura niya. Yes, that's the reason. Maraming updates. It's now more refined. Much better. And with that, ito po ang aking verdict. Super sulit si 05G 2023 at maganda na lang yung dating 05G. Okay pa tayo. Next naman si Tecno. Part of Transition. Si Tecno medyo meron siyang kamahalan ngayon. Uh, Infinix mid-range. Tecno medyo mataas yung price range. Tecno is focusing more on the cameras with their Cam On series. Tecno Cam On 19 ay... Oh my God! 18 watts fast charging. Uh, pero naka 120Hz naman daw. At a 64MP camera. My gosh. G85. Magkano to? Okay lang naman. 10,290. It's not okay in terms of sakto lang. This is needs improvement. I'm sorry. Ayan. Next up. Wiko T50. The new player in the block. Si Wiko guys. Ay bago lang po sa market. Sakto lang. Si Wiko T50. Ay Helio G85 din. And it's got a 40 watt fast charging. Kaya lang guys. 4,000 mAh lang. Oh no. And... Huli na rin siya sa display technology, 60 hertz. That's got a hertz. So Helio G85 at the price of 11,990 pesos. Ooh, uh, medyo mahirap yun na. This is needs improvement. Ang unang-una kasi dyan is yung brand pa lang kasi. No? Uh, it's fairly new, but it's not that competitive in terms of price and specs. Ayun na naman. Kung bagong brand, siguro ako mas magandang competitive. Yun na kasi meta ngayon sa smartphones in the Philippines. Ito rin bagong balik sa ating bansa. Guess who? Honor. Okay? Kamusta naman si Honor? With flying honors ba to? Graduating with flying honors? Si Honor X8 ay may 4G processor. Snapdragon 680. 4,000 mAh. Magkano to? Magkano to? 12,990 pesos. May, mahirap to. <laughs> uh, medyo sumakit yung lalamunan ko doon ah. Uh, mahirap to. Ba... Pero guys, ito, meron na daw siyang Google. Ayun yung kanyang, uh, okay, so you're you're saying na we're paying more dahil may Google na siya. Naging feature na pala yun. I'm not sure, but uh, 12,990 pesos is uh, pretty high for something na 4G lang. And 4,000 mAh of battery and uh, medyo luma na design. Wow, can't believe it. Honor X8 is, no, it's overpriced. Overpriced, man. Okay, siguro babawi si Honor X9. Hopefully. May, may 9 pa siya, guys. Honor X9. Wait. Mabaan natin yung ating expectations. Needs improvement muna. Si Honor X9. What? Same processor. 2 gigabytes lang yung dinagdag sa RAM. Same display. But better camera daw. And hindi pa ginawang 5,000 mAh. And how much is this? 14,000. 14,000. <laughs> Okay lang daw yan. Naging iPad naman daw yung design sa likod eh. Mas bago daw. No. Uh, we don't buy that because of... No, we don't shell out more money just because mas pogi yung itsura. No. Overpriced to for me. And that's pretty much it for Honor uh, in this list. Grabe yun. Okay. Well, Honor, better luck next year. Uh, sobrang competitive na ngayon. Hindi na pwede to. Hindi nyo pwede sabihin na this is a Huawei phone na may Google. Iba na po ngayon. Next up, OnePlus. Ito, dito ang natutuwa. Si, si OnePlus ay mostly nasa mid-range segment. 
napansin ko marami siya dito. We've got here the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G is Dimensity 900 5G. Pwede na. 8.28, AMOLED display na, 90Hz refresh rate. It's got a very fast charging, 65W Super VOOC Oxygen OS. That's a plus for me. Maganda na rin yung camera, 64MP triple camera setup. Retains the ultra-wide angle lens. All this for the price of 16,990 pesos. Ah, uh, para sa akin, not bad, but also not super good. Ah, oh, sakto lang para sa akin. Okay, so next up is another OnePlus phone. Actually, gusto mo si OnePlus. Looks like a sub-brand of Oppo. Mukha siyang Oppo rin, guys. Meron tayong OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite. Sakto mo na. Okay, so ito pa ay 695 5G. 8128, 1080p, 120Hz, 5000mAh, 33 watts of fast charging, and 12,990 pesos. Mm, sakto na, sakto. Okay lang, okay lang. Tama, sakto lang. Okay. Let us move on to one of the best brands in the world, Samsung. Okay. Alam ko na kayo. Yeah, boy. Samsung Galaxy A13. Okay, Exynos processor. Kanilang processor po yan. 850, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, 5,000 milliampers of battery, 25 watts of fast charging. Kapag Samsung talaga, alam niyo guys, pag Samsung, kakaiba talaga. Instead of 32 watts, 18 watts, 25 sa nila. And this one, oh, 10, 9, 90. But, uh, uh, yeah, I think this one will be sakto lang. Ayun. Kasi hindi mo masyado pronounce, kasi hindi siya Snapdragon. Hindi nila may feel yun eh. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. Ito 5G na guys. 5G. Ito ah. Dimensity 700, 4128. <laughs> 15 watts fast charging. Kaya ba sila, no? Uh, sila 18, 15. Ayun. So, 13,000! <laughs> 7, 720p? 13,900. Tapos 4 gigs of RAM lang. 5G naman daw kasi. Oh my God, 720p. Sorry, nawala lang boss dito ah. Kinakalma ko lang sarili ko. Uh, this one is a... Uh, Medyo, medyo mahal, medyo mahal. Uh, needs improvement. Needs improvement. Ito. Samsung Galaxy A33. Sakto lang muna. Ito ay merong Exynos 1280. Ito ay uh, merong 6128. And up to 8256. Super AMOLED. 48MP camera. 5000mAh battery at 25 watts fast charging. This one is... Oh my god. Okay, so hindi ko masyado alam yung Exynos na yan. 1280 but of course nasa taas na siya <laughs> ng price range 18,990 pesos okay okay this one is feeling ko needs improvement and not blown away by the Exynos processor si Samsung Galaxy A23 saan kaya to? it's got a Snapdragon 680 processor okay 90 hertz 25 watts and 5,000 milliampers of battery well tinatin tin, ha third Okay, nabubulol ako. Mahal. Mahal. Who in the right minds will price Snapdragon 680 sa halagang 14,000 pesos? Water drop notch! This one is uh, overpriced. I'm sorry. Next man is si Oppo. Everybody loves Oppo. This is the selfie expert. Ang pinakamagalang na brand sa lahat, Oppo. Hindi, wow. Let's go for the Oppo A76. Sakto lang. Tignan natin. The Oppo A76 has a Snapdragon 680 processor 4G. A 720p display. Grabe naman to. 720p. LCD pa. Okay. 5,030 watts. But the question in my mind is how much is this 11,990 peso 720p? Dalawang puff. Ubus na! Ah! This one is only overpriced. Oppo A96 to na. Oppo A96. Again, Snapdragon 680 4G 8128. Ah, at least ito 1080p na. At least 1080p na. Okay, yun lang yung ating pinakaiba niya, no? Sa A76. Grabe! From 720p, ginawa niyo ng 1080p. 
can't believe it. And how much is this? Baba! 15,000. Overpriced. Grabe, hindi ko alam kung kaya rin ko ba to. At least tapos na si Oppo. Kay Vivo naman tayo. Vivo. Number two. Number two in the Philippines. Vivo Y21T. 680. Again, ba't puro 680 na lang? 720p! Tin what? Ah, 10,000 lang naman. Oh, ginawa nyo itong... Ginawa nyo itong 13,000 katulad kanina. Unforgivable. Makamatay na ako. I guess... Needs improvement. Vivo Y22S 680 na naman Lahat na lang ah 4128 720p Ano ba meron sa 720p? Same price So needs improvement din to Vivo Y35 Tignan natin to ah Ito pogi to Pogi pogi This one Snapdragon 680 Uy malaki yung storage 256 1080p Finally 44 watts Mabilis yung charging But For the price of 14,999 Although yeah, Hindi to okay masyado uh, Big storage Mabilis in charging. This is for me. For me, needs improvement lang. Vivo Y73. Tina natin. Uy! What? Paano nagkaroon ng Helio G95 pa rin? Sa ganitong presyo, sa ganitong taon. 4,000 milliampers? Pero siguro mura na lang to. <laughs> Posible naman itong mahal. Posible to. <laughs> And the price is 4... Okay pa ako. Okay pa ako. Whew. Sorry guys, nagkakasakit ako. Sa mga prices na nakita ko. It's not good for my health. Okay, so... <clears throat> Ito mo na. Pang redeem siguro sa health ko. I want to take on Cherry Mobile. Ayan. Cherry Mobile! Ako S5, balik mo. Ako sa dati kong sarili. Dahil ito po guys, dahil ito po guys, ay merong Dimensity 810, 8128, may AMOLED, 90Hz, 30 watts fast charging, curved display, dalawang camera sa harap, 64MP quad camera, all for just 11,999 pesos. Thank you, super sulit na to para sa akin. My faith in smartphones is still intact. Balik naman tayo sa number one in the Philippines, Realme 9. Again, 680, 6128, 1080p AMOLED, 90Hz refresh rate, 5000 mAh, 33 watts fast charging. Ito po ay, wow. Okay, so medyo mahal na ngayon yung Realme series, no? Dati kasi Realme 3, Realme 5, 6, 7, nako, hindi pa tumaabot ng mga... 12, 13,000 ngayon nasa 14, 15,000 pesos na pero in fairness AMOLED na siya but uh, 4G at 15,000 is not good but definitely not that bad so it needs improvement para sa akin and kasunod is Realme 9 Pro uy this one is 5G Snapdragon 695 kaya lang ba't ganun naging LCD na lang ang Pro version at least 120Hz uh, 5,000 mAh 32 watts. this is not blowing my mind this is just sakto lang para sa akin Sakto lang, nope. 16,990 pesos ang presyo at 6 gigs of RAM lang. This is crazy. You gotta be more competitive than that. Pero guys, uh, si Realme 9 series na lang yun. Pansin siguro ni Realme na parang, oh, parang hindi na bumibenta yung ating mga Realme series phones. We gotta get back to the game. And thus, the Realme 10 was born. Realme 10, ito na. Uh, Helio G99, although that's a 4G processor, it's still new. And mabilis na yan. 8128, Super AMOLED, 90Hz refresh rate, 5000 mAh, and 33 watts fast charging. Let's see, 12999. Dahil kinampare ko siya, kaya Infinix 05G, kaya siya bumaba. Feeling ko maganda na siya. Kaya lang, oh no, hindi pwedeng magkaparehas ngayon si Infinix 05G at Realme 10. Oh wait, nakalimot akong, nakalimot ako si Vivo Y73, nasasak ko. Oops, muntik na mamatay dito. <coughs> 
ramdam pa ng lalamunan ko. Real Me 10 is sakto lang. Ayun. Vivo Y73. Yan. Tsaka lang. Tsaka lang. Okay. Si Techno Cameron 19 Pro ay needs improvement lang. Kasi, uh, check nyo na lang sa website. Cameron 19 Pro 5G, sakto lang. OnePlus Nord 2T, maganda na. Check na lang sa website guys ha. Kung hindi pa. Kasi, uh, para sa akin, yung mga specs niya ay parang repetitive na kasi. Narzo 50 Pro, uy, finally, si Realme. Ay, umahabot na si maganda na. Redmi Note 11S. Maganda na. So, dumadami ni maganda na. Poco M4 Pro 5G. Saan to? Wait lang. Ito kailangan kong tingnan. Si M4 Pro, may G96, AMOLED, 1080p, 90Hz refresh rate, 33 watts fast charging, 5,000mAh. But at the price of 12,990 pesos, hmm, Poco M4 Pro ay sakto lang. Kasi hindi siya pwedeng katabi nila Infinix Zero 5G. Like, seriously. And of course, Poco X4 Pro. Uh, 5G na. AMOLED. 120Hz. How much is this beast? Ooh, medyo ma mahal, mahal. Oh my. And for something na 695 5G lang, that's gonna be a hard sell. Sakto lang para sa akin. Vivo T1 5G. Ah, ito sakto lang. Ang maganda yung specs ito, in fairness, ha? Snapdragon 778G. AMOLED display, 90Hz. Mabilis na charging, 66 watts. This is actually... The first Vivo phone na maganda specs on this list. Kaya lang for the price of 17000 or 16999 Hmm, sakto lang. Ayun. Vivo V25e G99. Okay. Uh, 8256, bumawi siya doon ha. 256. 44 watts, fast charging. Kaya lang guys, 17000 17000 wala kang 5G? That's crazy. That is needs improvement, no? It's good but not that good. Huawei Nova 9 SE 9 SE K4G okay, 4000 milliampers of battery bucket At least mabilis yung charging, okay? All right. Okay, how much? Oh. Oh no, not not one of those. Pwede naman, pwede naman, no. Pwede to eh. Pero kasi <laughs> wala kasi Google eh. Mahirap, mahirap. May I recommend. Again, Huawei Nova 9 SE or Huawei in particular. Para sa akin, yung pinaka okay lang talaga nila is yung Huawei Mate 50 Pro right now. That's the only phone that I would consider on, on buying. No, kasi camera. The camera is excellent. Sobrang ganda. But the total absence of Google, especially on something na ganito lang specs, parang there's something missing in the phone. And it's actually big. A lot of people are watching YouTube. Although pwede nyo sabihin na American third party, hindi siya kasing seamless, kasing effortless na ginagawa ng native application. Ayun na naman. Uh, same goes for the Huawei Nova Y90. Alam ko na yan. Uh, you've seen my review on that. And yun lang. Uh, I highly recommend their Mate 50 Pro. But for their mid-range lineup, kung siguro sobrang ganda ng camera nila sa mid-range, na kayang i-blow away nila lahat ang competition in terms of camera, yes, I can recommend. That is the value that you're giving. But it's not. It's not as good as the others. And finally, last but not least, the Oppo Reno 7 Z. Where does this come into play? The last phone in our list is a 5G phone. 8128, 1080p na, 4,500 milliampers and 32 watts of fast charging. This is... 9... Grabe yung toothpaste ko. Okay. <laughs> Boy, Apex kaya rin na guys. Toothpaste lang yun ah. Okay, so buhay pa ako. And then yun nga, overpriced si Oppo Reno 7Z. And uh, buhay pa ako. And, uh, I've lived through it. But yes, that is my tier list for today. No? 15 to 20K. 
I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. It was quite nice, no? Medyo buhis buhay sa part ko. <clears throat> okay. Ito yung tier list at the end of 2022. Siyempre, iba na siya 2023. Magkakaroon ng updates in our unboxdiaries.com smartphone tier list webpage. Check nyo lang guys. Sobrang saya doon. Lagi update nyo yun. And we hope you also read our articles. Nakato yung mga thumbnails guys. Sobrang funny. Pero kung wala pa rin dito yung hinahanap mo, kung medyo malaki yung budget mo, meron pa tayong next tier list, 20K pataas or 30K below. 20 to 30,000 pesos. Smartphone tier list coming right up. Kaya mag-subscribe, kailangan hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Plus, Vince, and you're watching Unbox Series. Uhuh. Para sa Apex lang to. Nalino ko.